Hey everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Been quite busy, uh, been doing lots of work. I had COVID for quite a period of time. Also last week I was in London doing a talk about music NFTs as a guest speaker on stage at a place called Tile, Car, uh, Tile Yard at King's Cross. So that was great. Oh my gosh, it's just great to go to these in real life IRL events. It's just, they're just so cool. People talk the same language about Web3, which is, which is brilliant. And it was so insightful meeting lots of amazing people. So yeah, that was a great event. So yeah, I've been keeping busy. It's been fairly quiet on the NFT art finance uh, project in terms of the last two months. I last did a video two months ago and somebody put a comment in last night saying, where's your update? So I thought I'd, I would do one because um, there hasn't been too much going on in the space uh, for like the Enter website, so enter.audio, enter.art. And, but I thought I'd just do this video just to kind of update you anyway, because there are still some improvements to be made on the sites and stuff. And um, in the Web3 space, there will be more videos coming on this channel. So make sure you haven't subscribed if you haven't already. Make sure you subscribe. So that'll be cool. So let's get started, shall we? So if I have a look at the um, latest update, so we've got two to go through. So this is the 1st of August. So they released Enter.Market, which I featured on the last video, so make sure you have a look at that. Now it's released in beta. You've got alpha, then you've got beta, but some um, projects release as, as, as beta to begin with. And uh, they're still doing fixes, developing new features, testing the platform. So Enter.Market is where you basically have your projects, like your collections, if you like, all of the collections in one go, so that's pretty cool. They've also been doing a branding campaign and a video that's pinned on the Twitter account, which is at enter NFT. They say keep spreading the word, so any retweets are appreciated. They do um, the community themselves uh, on the Discord channel, for example. They do a great job promoting and supporting everybody, which is fantastic to see that even in this bear market, the engagement does pick up, which is which is really good to know. I find that about the bear market. From a financial point of view, it can be quite crippling for people that have invested in crypto. But actually, in the bear market, the investors have... Uh, the people that care about music are still there. So I do see a lot of positives from a bear market. Obviously, when it's bull, everything's bullish and prices go up, and that's great. But for me, it's more about people that, that want to be in the space that care about the music. So that's really cool. Enter dot market, some of the functionalities, for example. So at the moment, you can list, you can buy NFTs like spot sales, auctions, statistics are on there as well. You've got things like floor price that you can browse as the collection volume, items and owners. So that they've also added, um, which is a buyout during auctions which means that you can set a buy now price so similar to ebay in that respect which guarantees that the first one willing to pay for it actually gets that nft they've done quite a few hot fixes as well so the listed nfts now appear in the collection view emails aren't required anymore for collectors whereas you did need to do that before they've added some nft feature stuff to the front page added logos and banners to collections and replace the wallet address on NFT cards with the name of the collection and some bug fixes as well. Those are what they'll be looking at in the coming weeks, but I've got another update to show you in a minute. That They've been having these Twitter spaces. I've been on one of those. I do enjoy going on Twitter spaces. They are a commitment of time because you know Twitter spaces are generally over an hour. And um, obviously... I miss a lot being in the UK if they're hosted in the US. So I'm just going to bed when they're starting. So, so yeah, it's something to be aware of that they do do Twitter spaces. In terms of their other platforms, so the Enter.Art and Enter.Audio, um, they'll be adding the chains Avalanche and Ethereum to both of those. That's really good to know that, there, that there's um, options with different chains. There's quite a lot of... Um, platforms looking into multi-chain now where let's say for example if you buy i don't know on bnb then what will happen on the ethereum side is it'll actually burn one edition if one is bought on the other one so that's quite interesting perspective that's not what they're doing by the way it's just something that i've been looking into recently they've been doing giveaways and they're keeping really up to date with the enter.blog website which i'm showing you from now so make sure you check that out if you haven't already so let me have a look now onto the next update, which is number 
44, I believe. If I type in 44, will that work? No. If I type in 44, there we go. So new structure for announcements and updates across the Enterverse. So the weekly updates have been a great way to keep everybody up to date. Um, but not every week is packed with huge announcements and releases, which is what I just discussed with yourselves. During the past few months, they've found that writing the same structured up update every week is, isn't really doing the uh, purpose that it was. So they want uh, more engagement and more excitement for the community. So this is their last update that they're doing and they'll make more announcements uh, to move it forward. So this is what you can expect. They're gonna do monthly recaps of activity. Uh, they'll be doing announcements, focus announcements, which is particular areas like the platform, the team, the company, the development. Um, Discord presence, um, such as Ask Me Anything. Now, a lot of you guys were missing those and it's something that they are going to start doing monthly, which is good. They'll continue to do with the Twitter spaces. Uh, they'll be doing daily posts on their social media channels and regular posts on the enter.blog. They've also released ideas.enter.help for feedback and open suggestions. Um, and you can also upvote community ideas for governance. So that's something that they're doing at ideas.enter.help. So let's have a very quick look at that now, shall we? So here we are, we've got all of the ones in review, planned, in progress and completed. They're also tagged as well. I like this because this is something that I haven't encountered before. So these are some of the suggestions that there are and you can see which ones are trending, which ones are upvoting. So if you're interested in NFT art finance, this is certainly a good place to go to, to actually see what, what's going to be happening. So let's go back to that in a minute. Uh, they also talk about development update for enter.market. So they've been doing more fixes, more front end changes. Uh, they've been doing wrapped avalanche, AVAX was added to the wallet. And they'll be sharing the dates for multi-chain and upcoming features that they have in the works. So that's cool. They've done a blog post for enter.market as well. More giveaways as well. So let's have a look at the enter.market blog post. Yeah, that one we've already covered. I did think that was the case, but still. So let's see what else is going on in the world of NFT art finance. So let's have a look at the in-progress things at the moment. So we've got NFT art finance must be changed to NFT art finance. Well, that's fine. Uh, partnering with other projects with a big community and getting a professional marketing company. Oh, that's interesting. Um, so that's having someone inside doing marketing, but to actually utilize marketing companies to actually really drive their marketing um, techniques and stuff. So that's good. Game night with other chain projects, launchpad artists. So the most visited or liked top five to 10 launchpad NFT artists should be displayed on the homepage while well, the NFTs themselves actually. So that's in review at the moment. So yeah, there's lots going on. So I encourage you to have a look at this going forward. If you're interested in what's planned, for example, what's in review, what has been completed and uh, in progress. So it's just started this has and you can actually submit your own idea. So there you have it. That's the latest update to the NFT art finance project such as your enter.art, your enter.audio, your enter.market. So I hope you like this one. Speak to you on the next one. Take care, bye.